What's up everybody and welcome back to another Disney Cards and Planes unboxing. Today I am going to show you Autobahn, Galvin, Uganda, and Lewis Hamilton. And I know, again, these are 2016 packagings. These were about re released about a year ago, I believe. So, I know it may be stressful to you that I'm opening these guys now, but... I saw these guys in the store, and I really bought these two on a mod and got a gear gunner because I, I, I did own them in our mod. This was, I'm pretty sure this is his first release. I just got Hale, Lewis Hamilton because I don't have him yet, and I would like to expand my World Grand Prix racer collection. So let's get into reviewing the packaging. You can see Autobahn is from the World, World Grand Prix Crew Series, the Daryl Garage app. And he is 4 out of 6 in the series. No, sorry, 4 out of 9 in the series. On the back, the bio for the series reads, Behind every famous World Grand Prix racer is a pit crew skilled in racing know-how their mission. Get their racer across the finish line first. There's the their garage app description and the other, other characters that were released in this series were Austin Lewton, Giuseppe Motoris, and Audubon himself. Now let's go on to Lewis Hamilton. He, will, he was released in the World Grand Prix series. He also has a Daredevil Garage app. He is fifth, 5 out of 13 in this series. The description for his series reads The World Grand Prix will determine who is the fastest car in the world. Three characters in three, three racers in three countries, and only one champion. And here it's self. Showing other cards that are released in the series, we get a um, directions on how to use the Dale Dale Garage app. I'm happy they're, they're not doing that for 2017. If you notice on the back of their packaging, they don't have it on the 2017 packaging. So, yay, I'm happy for that. Okay, so here's Galpin Gill Grinder. He is from the number, number 95 Returns series. The Dale Garage app. He is two out of seven in the series. It was a pretty small series. And the description for his series reads After months of burning rubber on the track, Ray McQueen can't wait to return to Radio Springs and hang out with his old friends. We got a picture of Lightning in Mater doing like a high five thing. And we got directions for the Daniel Garage app once again. So that is it for the description for the review of the packaging. So now let's get to unboxing these characters. So we we'll right back with these three amazing characters out okay, of the packaging. Okay guys, I am back with these guys out of the packaging. And, and I didn't mention in the review, go Audubon and Lewis Hamilton. They had tape with their packaging, and it wasn't that hard to get them out of the packaging. I used my Swiss Army knife to to get the to loosen the tape up, and so it wasn't that hard to get them out of the packaging. But I still don't like that that they're doing that. But they're not doing it for 2017 so far, as I can see. So now let's get into the view of these. Three amazing characters. Let's start with um, Galpin Gear Grinder first because he is a unique car character. Okay, you can see straight off the bat he is some sort of train because he has that grid in the front that protects him. He has these wheels that actually look like they, they'll go on the train track. He has these two horns. His whole body is metal. The only thing that are plastic is the grid here. 
the wheels and the gate right here. You can see at the back he carries an empty barrel and two oil cans. And he came with some accessories. He came with a shovel, a lantern, and a pickaxe. So I don't really know how he's going to be able to use the shovel and the pickaxe, but the core cool accessories nonetheless. And the lantern here just hooks on to him because he has this little thing right here. And there we go, we got a lantern, a galloping gear grinder. And I'm pretty sure these two just go in the barrel. Yeah, I think that's how they're supposed to go in. You can take them out, and they're also very flexible, the shovel and the pickaxe, but if you bend them too much, they'll break. So that's the only downside of it. Okay, now let's get into reviewing Autobahn, and he is actually the crew chief of Max now. And he was actually supposed to be released internationally, I believe, in a two pack in 2012. But I, I believe Mattel canceled that release, so I'm pretty happy they released him in a single. You can see straight off the bat, he is an Audi. An Audi TT, I believe. He has this purplish gray color. He's smiling. He got his headset on. He has the Max now decals on him. Nice rims. His license plate reads 23 and the little hyphen thing, I believe that's what it's called. And 25. And above it, it says 54 and then some Japanese characters. The gas cap. He has a tiny wee antenna. His exhaust pipes and he has brake lights. Good detail in the brake lights. And now let's compare them to some other cars. So I am definitely going to compare them to a. I'm going to compare them to another Audi. That is called Sajan Korea, which must be some type of Japanese name. And he was released in the Airborne Adventure series in 2015. And you can see straight off the bat, Sajan is a bigger model. Similar rims. But you can see his Sajan's rims are they closed. But Autobahn has these little triangles, so that's cool. They're, they're basically the same model, but Sajan is a lot bigger than Autobahn. You can see that Sajan has the TT standard for his model. I don't know if um, Autobahn is an Audi TT, but he looks like it because they're similar models. And now let's compare that now let's show him with his racer Max Schnell. Beautiful. Just beautiful. These two go together very, very well. You can see he has the same decals as him. They even the same paint job. They, they both have that purplish dark purple color. They just go very well together. <laughs> and now, last but not least, Lewis Hamilton. And now, if you can see straight off the bat, he is not a black color. Because he's not pure black. Because when you look at his card, Here's his card. He is a full black color. But on the die cast, he's not pure black. black. Well, he is black, but it's a very, very dark gray. You can see that he has these uh, 
neon stripes on him, and he actually has a gap in between his teeth, which I'm happy they um, put that in this model, because when he was first released, I don't think they had the gap in the teeth. He has aggressive expression, amazing wheels, he is number two, says all, no, this is World Grand Prix on his sporter, it says all in all in the back. It says powered by all in all in the back. And this thing, this red thing right here is supposed to be a brake light, I believe. And there's his home country. It's actually a made up country. No. Whip, Whip Clutch Ganassi's was a made up country. This was a real country, but I don't remember what it's called. And on this side, same decals as in the other. Pretty cool car. Now let's show them to some other World Cup pre races. Let's start off with Lightning McQueen himself. I know the other World Grand Prix races are completely different models, but it'll be fun to just show you all the other World Grand Prix models. Nigel Gearsley, I believe this guy's name is, he races for London, number 9. Carla Veloso, she races for Brazil. I really like her paint job. So far, she she's actually one of my favorite World Cup Prix races. Just because of that paint job that she has. She has a very cool paint job. Here is Jeff Gorvette. He's racing for America, just like Lady McQueen, he's also made for America. You can see that Jeff Corvette is a Corvette, and I think he's actually friends with Lewis Hamilton, which is, uh, pretty cool. Francesco Bernoulli. He's actually number one. And he races for... Portacosa, Italy. Saru Saru. Number 6. I believe he races for Germany. I really like the colors on him. It reminds me of the American colors, but I'm pretty sure that's um, the Germany colors. Rip Clutch Ganevsky. This guy is one of the main up country. I think he was supposed to be like Australia. That's what his colors remind me of, but it's not Australia, it's a made up country. And that's what I need for the World Cup because I have Max Schnell. The only ones I'm missing is Miguel Camino and Shu Todoroki, and then I have all the World Cup pre races. Okay, that is. If for this video, but I just realized I need to put Audubon back into it in his review because I forgot to show show you guys the crew chiefs to compare him with. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here's um Francesco Manuri's crew chief, Giuseppe Motoris. He was released in the same exact series as Audubon, also as Ar Austin Lewitton. Here's Austin Lewitton, he is Nigel Gearsley's crew chief, and if you notice on mine, he's supposed to have a mirror, right? Mine got his cast mirror stuck into his casting, so that's not that good for me, but, you know, Mattel makes mistakes. Here's Jeff Corvette's crew chief, John Lasseter, he's actually one of the biggest crew chiefs in the world that we just because he's a pickup truck, nothing else. And last but not least, Carter Veloso's crew chief, 
Cruz B. Solo. And I really like this guy. Not because he is a VW bug, because he is a very, very short character. And he also has cool designs, just like Carnivalosa, but not as much as Carnivalosa, but they go good together. Okay, and that is actually it for this review. I'm sorry that I, I didn't review the crew chiefs earlier when I was reviewing on a bond, but you know, even I make mistakes just like Mattel. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Have a good day. Bye.